What's up everybody? Welcome to Ultimate Outdoors. I got a little product review for you today. Uh, a little earlier this summer, I got some skid plates in the mail for my wheeler. Uh, what I want to do is I want to show you a little bit of the installation, uh, what they are. Uh, very nice uh, skid plates. Uh, they're from uh, Swedish Performance Off-Road Parts out of Sweden. Uh, the skid plates are, are really well built. Very nice. Uh, great directions they go on fairly easy. It took me a minute to get the hang of um, exactly how they went on but once I uh, got them going they went pretty easy. So uh, first I'll show you what they are. I've had them on a few months um, and then I'll go back and I'll show you a little bit of the, in the install and uh, talk to you a little bit about them. Okay there's uh, there's their brochure on the uh, on the skid plates. I'll try to put that up on, on there for you a little better. Um, SPOP made in Sweden ATV parts. Um, the kit come all together in a, a big box. Uh, I think they were about five hundred dollars. That included shipping and handling. Uh, these skid plates cover everything. Full for full armor on the bottom. Um, they come with lots of extra uh, bolts and screws and uh, washers and all that kind of stuff and the directions. So uh, you know, pretty good stuff. Let me uh, let me show you what they are. All right. First of all, what I want to show you with these skid plates is uh, these skid plates. This is a, the center skid plate. Uh, it comes right outside of your fender. Uh, maybe if I'd have had this before, I wouldn't have these big uh, cracks down through here. But these skid plates curl right around the outside. So I, I really like that feature. It protects these. You get into some trees or tight spots, and it's going to protect uh, your fender wells. They also curl. Uh, if you can see that, they curl right up in the front right there to protect the front very uh, very handy the way they curl up mount in there pretty nice uh, the back as you can see my wheeler I just tore it all apart today cleaning doing all that kind of stuff got some changes I want to do this winter but uh there's the uh, rear skid plate covers the boots well Oh boy, I didn't clean that very good. I gotta clean that up a little bit better. Um, there's for the uh, trailing arms. Nice cover. Both sides. I'll show you from the other way. This comes right up, right underneath your uh, little bracket for your uh, winch. One thing I did do. You don't need to do. I learned it now. Afterwards, I shouldn't have done it. Should have listened to my wife. I cut this plastic piece off. This plastic piece goes right down through and bolts down here. Well, I uh, cut it off. And I didn't need to. There was lots of room in there for it. I should have left it in there. I didn't. Too late now. I'll have to order a new one and I'll uh, take that front plate off and put it on there. But there's the A-arm covers. Nice and solid, bolt on there really well. And let me get my light, I can show you. And there's the full skid plate, front to back. Uh, pretty nice stuff. It covers the whole entire bottom. Just worked great. If you uh, if you ride where there's a lot of rocks, all that kind of stuff, I mean, these things these things would be worth their weight in gold. I mean, they cover everything. So, they got uh, little clips, little bolts, bolt in nice. So I'll, uh, I'll put a link down below to their website. Uh, their website's kind of in uh, Swedish, whatever language they talk or whatever. But you can, uh, you can pick, to, uh, pick this stuff up on Amazon too. So they got a uh, little Amazon store. So definitely give them a check. Uh, you know, look at their products. Uh, if you want skid plates, I would definitely look into these. Uh, you know, they're Swedish made, 
They're very well built aluminum skid plates. So give them a look, check them out. Um, like I said, I'll put a link down below. These side rails are awesome. Work good. They come up in the back. Lots of holes in the bottom to uh, drain water and stuff out. All the holes are accessible for changing your oils. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. The back one here, I still haven't... Uh, that one's going to be a pain to change the rear, rear diff oil. Um, but that one's only got four bolts. That one you can take off in a hurry and uh, change it. But definitely, definitely doable. So give them a look. SPOP, Swedish Performance Off Road Parts. Time to get cleaned up. I gotta get down. There's people calling me left and right. We got some riding to do this afternoon, so let's get packed up and out of here. SPOP. Pretty nice skip plates. Swedish performance off-road parts. Give them a look. Alright, just want to say thanks for watching this video. Uh, make sure you give uh, Swedish performance off-road parts a look. If you're looking for skid plates, you know, in the market for skid plates, definitely check it out. Uh, ATV Tire Rack out of Kingston, Ontario. Um, he's selling these uh, skid plates. You can also pick them up through him or you can pick them up through Amazon or off their website. So uh, check them out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out Ultimate Outdoors on Facebook. Give it a like. And uh, we'll see you next time. Outdoors.